This is Jeremy from the Artifacts Forge and in this video I'm going to show you an easy way to add rough, jagged, undulated, zigzag, cogs, waves and other edge types to vector shapes in Affinity Designer. Unlike Adobe Illustrator, there's currently no way to add these types of edges using the Affinity app itself and that's why we created our Affinity Edge Essential brushes. These brushes add a range of edges to shapes and text in seconds, saving you valuable time. The brushes are available via the link in the description below, so make sure you follow the link after watching the video. I'm going to show you how the brushes can enhance a simple vector illustration, but before I do that, I'll show you a quick demo using a vector shape and some text. To apply one of the edge brushes, I'm simply going to select the vector shape and then click on one of the brush tab icons. And as you can see, it's applied instantly. You can swap in different edge brushes with the click of a button. And as you can see, we've supplied loads of different styles. You can easily change the color of the edge by adjusting the stroke color. And if you want to change the size of the edge, alter the stroke weight. You'll notice that adding an edge brush increases the size of your shape, but you can easily use the contour tool to shift the edge back to its original position. The brushes can also be applied to text. I'm going to add a rough edge to these letters that I've pre-typed. And as you can see, it's easy to switch to alternative edge styles. As a general rule, avoid using overly complicated fonts as these can look really messy when the brushes are applied. You can get some really unexpected and impressive effects when using some of the different brushes together on different letters. I quickly want to highlight a common issue you may encounter when using brushes with text. Look what happens when I try to add a brush to this letter. I'm clicking the brush icon, but it doesn't look like the brush is being applied. What's happening is the brush is being applied, but it's flowing the wrong way. So you're only seeing the flat side. This is caused by the direction the stroke was flowing when the font was originally created. It affects all affinity vector brushes and is not an issue with our brushes. To fix this, select your type and go to the layer, convert to curves menu. This converts the type to editable curves. Your type is no longer editable with Affinity's type tools, so you may want to make a copy before this step. Next, select the node tool and then click the reverse curve button here. This reverses the flow of the brush and as you can see, makes the brush visible. Another advantage of converting your type to curves is that it allows you to use more features to edit the letter than you would have if it was still normal type such as the corner tool and the node tool. As promised at the beginning of this video, I'm now going to show you how to use the brushes to enhance this simple vector image. It's made of a few simple shapes with a texture overlay. I'm first going to duplicate the yellow background circle and move it above the blue water shape on the layers panel. I'm going to use this shape to add a rough edge around the outside. To do this, I'm going to set the shape stroke color to the same as the background, then apply a brush by clicking a brush panel icon. I'm now increasing the thickness of the rough edge by making the stroke size larger. Next, I'm going to add a subtler rough edge to the crocodile shape by applying a different brush. I'm setting the stroke color to match the fill of the shape. You'll see there's an area of the crocodile's neck which overlaps the rough edge. To remove this, I'm going to split the rough edge curve into two and move it above the next section. Doing it this way ensures I don't cover the snout, which I'd like to protrude beyond the background circle. To do this, I'm using the node tool to add two nodes along the circle where I'd like to split it. Then I'm using the break curve button to split the circle into two separate shapes. Then I'm moving the lower shape above the crocodile shape on the layers panel so it covers the unwanted neck section. Next, I'm going to apply another rough edge brush to the nose and eyes. Now 
Next I'm going to use one of the undulating brushes to give the crocodile some ridges on its back. To do this, I'm setting the colour to the same as the crocodile's body, choosing an undulating brush and the brush tool, and increasing the stroke weight. Then I'm just simply drawing the ridges. Now I'm going to pick a subtler undulation brush to add some variation to the tongue. And a zigzag brush to add rays to the sun and to add some sharp teeth. Finally, I'm going to use the wave brush to add some waves. Each one overlaps and gets darker as we move down the design. I'm also adding a blue vector shape to fill the gap at the bottom of the waves. And now I'm going to group the shape and the wave brush strokes and crop them with a clipping mask. To do this, I'm duplicating the main circle again, setting the color to transparent, then on the layers panel, I'm dragging the group icon into the circle icon. Please note that I'm dragging into the name section of the icon and not the thumbnail section. And there's the finished crocodile design, complete with rough, zigzag, wave and undulating outlines. If you'd like to add these kind of edges to your designs and illustrations, follow the link in the description below to get the pack from artifactsforge.com. You can also save 20% with the offer code TUBE20. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If so, please give it a thumbs up and follow our channel. Thanks for watching.